As pastors and ministry leaders, we are called to be intercessors. We should be in constant prayer for the church, our government leaders, and for those who are oppressed, sick, or in need. For those we see who are in need of healing. There are many things we can pray for. Intercession is a vital part of the Christian life. Most Christians do not exercise the tremendous authority we have in Christ. God has called us to make a difference in our nation. He can enforce his will, but he limits his dealings on earth by working through his people. He does not want us to passively stand by and watch the earth fall into decay. But if we were to evaluate the situation, isn't this what many Christians are doing? How many of us exercise our authority? I think this needs to change now especially. So God has given us authority on earth to rule. Jesus tells us in Matthew 28 and 18 that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him. May not feel like it, but it's true. He does nothing on earth unless he does it through a person. He always intended to rule the earth through his delegated authority in mankind. We were to carry out the government of the earth, but Adam and Eve gave it away through disobedience. You know the story. Adam transferred authority over the earth to Satan. All mankind was then under his dominion. God did not give Satan authority over the earth. Adam did. We needed someone to stand between us and Satan in order to break that dominion. Jesus was the only one who could. He came as a man, completely fulfilling God's will, and became our intercessor, the one who could join us to God again and break Satan's headship over us. Jesus purchased us with his blood and not only restored us to God, he became the way that God could again have dominion over the earth. Jesus could now rule over all that goes on here on earth. What are some of the ways we can stand strong? Psalm 144, one says, Praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. So one way is abide in Christ. As you abide, you are able to pray the things that are on God's heart. We can be steadfast in prayer and ready for battle. Know that you are in enemy territory and you are here to fight for God's kingdom in prayer. Watch for those fiery darts. Hold up your shield of faith and put on the armor of God. Another way is to stand upon the promises of God. Do not listen to the enemy. Speak God's promises over your family, neighborhood, city, and nation. Know and pray God's word. That's a good one. The Bible is filled with scripture you can pray. Declarative prayer is a key way to exercise your authority in prayer. Try praying Daniel's prayer in Daniel 9, 3 to 19. I won't repeat it here, but look it up. Another way is to focus on God during times of warfare. The enemy will try to discourage you as to your authority. Focus on God instead of the things you see happening in the world. Remember you have authority in Christ. Let me repeat. Focus on God instead of the things you see happening in the world. Remember you have authority in Christ. We can mix praise and prayer together. Worship is the atmosphere where truth dwells. There is power released in worship warfare. God is greater than all enemy attacks. We can also practice fasting on a regular basis. Fasting gives you spiritual power and strength to steadfastly stand against the enemy. We can let God's peace rule in your heart. Come in the opposite spirit of the world system. An attitude of peace and joy in the midst of darkness is powerful. 
It's time for the church of Jesus Christ to rise and aggressively take back the land stolen by the enemy. Are you and I going to let the devil control our cities when Jesus died for the entire world? The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, as it says in Psalm 24. Let's not forget that. This will be our finest hour if we learn to wield the weapons of warfare and stand in our God-given authority. It's time to arise and realize the victory we have in Christ. It's time to arise in steadfast authority in prayer. One of the best weapons we have is the armor of God. In Ephesians 6, 10 through 13, it says this, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything, to stand. So let's close with a prayer of steadfast authority. Dear Lord, I thank you for giving your people authority to rule on earth. Help me to understand the hope of my calling. Teach me to exercise this authority in my life, my city, my nation. Thank you for being my intercessor and breaking Satan's headship over my life. Help me to pray and seek justice in the earth on behalf of others. I thank you for giving your people authority to actually subdue powers and principalities. I choose to reign with you and walk in your authority. I am called to declare your authority and rule the earth with you. Through steadfast authority and prayer, I can enforce your victory on earth and fight for the nations. Praise be to the Lord and my rock who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.